Hey guys, what's going on? Coach Justin here from Ultimate Baseball Training. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to hit like Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge is a guy, he doesn't need any sort of introduction. He's absolutely tearing it up. He's gonna be a great Major League Baseball player for years and years and years to come. I'm excited to watch him grow. And he does a lot of things really, really well. He's a young player, so his strikeouts are a little bit too high. Obviously, everyone has room for improvement, but he does a lot of things very well in his swing that I think you can learn from. So we're gonna just cover everything in this particular video. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, so the first thing when it comes to how to hit like Aaron Judge, let's talk about his initial setup, his stance. Aaron Judge has a relatively wide stance, and he's changed his stance a little bit you know, throughout time, but he's got a pretty wide stance. So for you younger players, you know, I have no problem with you guys experimenting different things. Every major league player has a different stance. Some guys are wide, some guys are open a little bit. Some guys like Giancarlo Stanton recently are closed off a little bit. Some guys have their hands down here, or up higher or you know shoulder height there's a lot of different ways you can do things uh, so just play around with it but I really like how Aaron Judge has a wide stance he's athletic he's ready to go and he's relatively square towards the pitcher he doesn't do anything crazy like really open up or really close off he's relatively square to the pitcher and so I recommend that for you young players out there a great way to kind of find the stance for you is to just stand there and jump up in the air and then when you come down however wide you are naturally when you come down that's a pretty good starting point for a stance another way to think about it is be athletic so if you're a linebacker in football you're not going to have you know you're not going to be standing like this right that's that doesn't look like a very athletic position I can get pushed over side to side a linebacker is going to be something like this and a basketball a player playing defense they're going to be like this so we want to be athletic all right that's the biggest thing be athletic be comfortable but Aaron Judge back to him he's got a pretty wide stance and then something that I really like that he does and I don't see a lot of young players doing this he starts out with his hands pretty much shoulder height and his knob is facing towards the catcher ever so slightly I see a lot of young players their knob is either like facing the ground or some of them it's back like this their knobs facing more of the pitcher or facing you know out this way like this what you really want to do is have your knob facing down and towards the catcher what that does for you is it makes it easier to get in that good solid launch position what I mean by launch position is as he loads and he strides towards the pitcher he, he lets his hands kind of naturally walk away from his body so it creates a great little lat stretch here and then all of the major league hitters when you watch them when they get into this position here this launch position you'll notice their knob is facing down towards the catcher so just try and preset that it's very very comfortable it's very easy if you're not doing it right now uh, might take some getting used to but just kind of preset that knob towards the catcher it's going to make it that much more easy to get in that good solid launch position all right, so as I just mentioned, as all great baseball players do, Aaron Judge also does this. So he goes into his load, and as he strides towards the pitcher, as he gains ground towards the pitcher, you'll notice that his hands naturally walk away from his body and his hands go back. He's not artificially loading and, and doing anything awkward like this and artificially pushing his hands back. He's just naturally letting them walk away from his body. And you'll notice he gets this great lat stretch, all right? His front arm starts to lengthen out. So it's not completely barred out like this, but it's got some length to it and he gets a great lat stretch. Almost like his, his lower body is going towards the pitcher and his upper body is like coiling backwards and he's just loading up so much energy to explode into the baseball. So that's something I recommend recommend you do is focus on getting a good solid lat stretch and to kind of over exaggerate this lat stretch and get the feeling you can actually go up to a fence like this and put your front hand kind of backwards like this on the fence all right and all you're going to feel is as you stride forward you're going to feel that lat stretch your hands kind of naturally walking away from your body all right another way to do it is you can just get into a really narrow narrow stance and just kind of rock back a little bit over exaggerate your stride going forward and you'll notice my hands just naturally walk away from your body that's really going to get you in a great hitting position another thing Aaron Judge does really really well and a lot of major league players do this is he pinches his knees together this is an advanced concept I didn't learn this till late in my career but it's going to instantly help you with your bat speed and your power so watch my knees as I swing a lot of younger players 
they have their knees really wide at the point of contact like this. And that's an okay position, you know, if everything else, you know, lines up, then you're still going to be able to get some hits and hit for power and things like that. But what's really going to make a difference is having your knees at the point of contact, have them pinch together and get into a position like this. So this leg is straightening this knee is almost driving forward my toe is dragging on the ground that's something Aaron Judge does really really well so again you can focus on this even without taking swings you can just stand here and work on boom driving your knees together last thing another advanced training concept that kind of is automatically installed into Aaron Judge's swing. His elbows, you watch his elbows, and his elbows throughout his entire swing, they stay the same distance apart. What I mean by that, you see a lot of younger players who develop bat drag, and their elbows start like this, and they go into their load and their stride, and then they'll let like one of their elbows collapse, and they get this, this back elbow kind of leading the knob, so they get into a position like this. And that's something you really want to avoid. You don't want to avoid, or you don't want to have bat drag. And so something to focus on just off your tee work and in batting practice, soft toss, front toss, whatever. Focus on throughout your entire swing, keeping your elbows the same distance apart until you know after contact then obviously you're going to get into this good power v position but keep your elbows the same distance apart i hope you enjoyed today's video and before you go i actually want to share with you my bat speed boosters these are five great drills that are going to quickly add five to ten miles an hour to your bat speed and it's a hundred percent free so all you have to do to grab these bat speed boosters just click on the very first link below this video in the description that's going to take you to a page all i'm going to ask for is your email address that way I know where to send these bat speed boosters but I would highly recommend them these are a few great drills you can add to the end of any workout or any practice and you're gonna see dramatic gains in your bat speed so again click on the first link below this video go grab your free bat speed boosters as always if you enjoyed today's video please leave me a thumbs up I would really appreciate it let's work together to get to a thousand plus thumbs up on this video as always if you're not already be sure to subscribe to the channel channel because we're coming out with new baseball videos every single week so you don't want to miss any videos be sure to subscribe and get in the comment section below and let me know what you want me to make future videos about thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time